Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick from MicroAffin.com and this is going to be part two of a two-part video showing you how to grab your SHSH files. The first part was for Windows and this second part is going to be for your Mac. Um, so, if you have a Mac like I do, um, you need to come to this website right here which I'll have a link in the description down below where you can find this website. Now basically, uh, what I want you to do is once you come to this website, you want to go to here where it says quick download and you want to click this and it will automatically download firmware umbrella this is the software we're going to use to uh, grab your SHSH blobs so once you click that and you have it downloaded we can X out of our internet and go to our finder applications utilities terminal now we need to open up terminal now make sure you have your device connected via USB and in the description down below I'll put uh, this text line right here we need to copy that text line into our terminal and click enter this will open up another text edit file so we can bring this down here and just forget about them okay so we will bring a text edit file down here now if you have a line down at the bottom that includes gs.apple.com and you most probably have that if you rewrote your IPSW to downgrade before. Now you don't have to do this because we can save our SHSH files. So uh, please make sure if you have gs.apple.com, that line in there, it will have something like 74 something point something, blah, 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 blah gs.apple.com. Um, make sure you delete that line. And once you have it looking like this, you can save it and then exit out of text edit and also exit out of terminal so once we've done that you need to go where you saved firmware umbrella and open up the DMG which will then run the application so click firmware umbrella open it up and you get this so once you have that you need to fill in this information and then submit your SHSH files to Cydia, so it's pretty simple. Now, if you don't know what your ECID is, um, real quick trick, you put your device in recovery mode, um, very simple to do, you turn it off and then hold it, the home button while, whilst plugging your 30 pin connector in. And then once you've done that, go to the app at the top and click about this Mac. You will then get this pop-up right here. After you've got this pop-up, you wanna click more info and then you'll get this down on the side you want to go down to USB and you'll see Apple mobile device recovery mode you want to find where it says that and then come down to here now this is very important you get the right thing so you want to see where it says ECID as you can see right there and you want to click or you don't want to click you want to copy the ECID line so as you can see right there, I've copied that. And now we need to go to our firmware umbrella window. So we can close out of that now and copy that in. So now we have our ECID. Once you've done that, you want to choose which device and you want to change the SHSH repository to suric cydia Once you've done that, you want to click submit and you'll be there, you'll be done. Um, you click submit, it will upload it to Suric server and you will have your SHSH file saved. When you open up Cydia, you will see that line at the top of your Cydia application and it will also make a file on your desktop called SHSH files or something like that. So that's pretty much it guys, real simple to do. Of course, not as simple as the Windows version, but it's still pretty much simple. Now, if you had any problems with this, leave comments down below and I'll try my best to answer all of them and help you out as much as I can. This is really important you do this guys if you want to downgrade in the future. If you're a Windows user and you're watching this video make sure you go check out the Windows view, the Windows video um, if you want to know how to grab your SHSH files. I hope you found this real simple to follow guys. It's Nick from iGotIphone.com and stay tuned for this Spirit Jailbreak tutorial. That's it from me. I'll catch you guys very soon and I do mean very soon. It'll probably be another video tonight and um, that is it. Have a great day. Peace.